what I'm doing and it's early morning I have a pot of chili on the stove and I'm also gonna make a vegetable soup and a lentil soup and I'll post those recipes as well and I'm gonna do a freezer clean out and when I clean out the freezer I use whatever we have left over to make meals and then freeze the meals and that way there can be something on hand if someone's not feeling well because <laughs> I ended up having to resort because I had no meals ready to organic baby food when I wasn't feeling well enough to cook and actually surprisingly this stuff isn't too bad of course it's not seasoned because it's baby food so a few herbs and spices and a little bit of Celtic salt and warm it up and baby food is a great alternative if you need something quick and you're not feeling well to cook. These junior ones actually are not fully pureed so at least they have a few chunks in them so they're pretty good. And I'll be also making some crumbles from the berries that are starting to get a little bit of crystallization on them in the freezer. So I will go ahead and show you once the chili's done, we're going to package that up and put it in the freezer and then we're going to start a vegetable soup and a vegetable lentil soup. Now I've already posted the recipe for this chili and it's just an assembly chili. Now this one I did use fresh mushrooms which I cut up and in the recipe, previous recipe, I used canned. So this is really simple. You just chop up some onions, garlic, pepper, mushrooms and then throw in a few cans of beans and some canned tomatoes. Uh, the Kirkland ones are BPA free from Costco, the organic Kirkland canned tomatoes. And then just let it all simmer. A little bit of olive oil, some spices of course, and some Celtic salt. And I always add just a tad of honey into it as well. Nice uh, touch to anything tomato is to add something in there that's a little bit sweet. And while I'm cleaning out the freezer here, I just wanted to show you another thing that I do. Um, I prefer if it wasn't in plastic, but I don't have any small glass containers right now. But after I've done my bone broth and shredded the meat, whether it's chicken or moose or whatever, I will package it up in serving size packages like this. And that way I can pop it in the freezer and if I make vegetarian soup or vegetarian chili and somebody else would prefer meat in it, I can just pop one of these frozen little packages into theirs. Or my husband absolutely loves like hot chicken sandwiches, so I can just pop this in a pot, add a few spices and a little bit of einkorn flour, thicken it up and throw it over some sprouted bread and it's a quick meal for him. So I just package up like two scoops of the bone broth with some meat shredded into it and I have numerous packages of this in the freezer. So here I have my chili just cooling down here in some glass bowls to go into the freezer and I'm preparing now to make some soup. So the chilies have cooled and they're ready to go in the freezer and this is the size uh, there's four scoops in each one of these and that's perfect for a meal for myself and my husband. I'm going to put the lids on and then I'm going to be sure to what I call burp the lids. So what you're going to do is pull up on one side just a little bit and push down on the middle at the same time and then reseal. So you want to get the air out of those and then pop them in the freezer. So here I have the freezer all cleaned out and everything put back in that I wanted in there and our chili up there and room for some lentil soup as well. And we had a few frostbitten uh, fruits here and aside from sometimes they taste off but it doesn't taste off at all. I'm just going to rinse all this off and put the raspberries and blueberries in a pan and go ahead and just make my crumble which I also have a recipe for. It's quick and easy, just really simple crumble. And here's my pot of lentil soup which is almost done. And I will be posting the recipe to that in a little while. So if you're looking for a lentil vegetable soup, just stay tuned and I'll post the recipe to that. But for now, I'm going to let this simmer for another 10 or 15 minutes, then package it up and put it in the freezer. 
So here I have it just cooling down now, the lentil vegetable soup, and I'm going to go ahead and package this up in containers and pop it up in the freezer. So here are my containers filled up with the lentil soup, and once it cools down, I can pop those up in the freezer as well. So it was a crazy busy day and we have it all done. I went ahead and made a pot of vegetable soup as well and I'll post a recipe to that. We have the lentil soup and the chili and the freezer's all cleaned out and I also went ahead and made a berry crumble with the raspberries and blueberries, a few oats, some butter, and some raw cane sugar. Well, feels good now. I have lots of soups and some chili there uh, to grab quickly if I'm not feeling well enough to cook. And uh, I hope you enjoyed following me around this morning. And I'd love to hear what your favorite organic freezer recipes are.